Hey guys, it's Danielle from Soaps of Love, and today I'm doing an unboxing of Nurture Soaps. I ordered a bunch of micas that they had on sale, and um, some of their micas I haven't really tried. Actually, no, I haven't tried any of Nurture Soaps micas. Um, but I ordered a lot of different scents from them, other um, soap and materials, and things like that from them all the time. So I said, let me, I have tons of mica already. So, you know, it, it takes me a little while before I need to order more. So I said, it's about that time to start ordering a little bit more. So let me order my testers to see what micas I like and what, which ones I don't like. So that's what I did. And I got me some new glitters too. Because I always mix my glitters with some mica, some regular, like uh, the fairy dust glitters. From Be Scented, because I order from Be Scented all the time. I love her stuff. And um, I'll mix it with some micas. But anyway, here we go. This right here is their plant-based card. And those of you who have ordered from Nurture Soaps know about their plant-based cards. It has the wildflower seeds in it, and you can just put this into the ground, and it'll grow out wildflowers. And you can see a seed right here. It's so cute. I love this card. And my order was packed by none other than Carrie H. My orders are always packed by Nicole. And um, I love Nicole cards. And today I got Carrie H card. And her card is so beautiful with the rainbow. And the cat <laughs> on the horse is about to save, I guess, the Micah world. I don't know. But um, that was that. So let's let's move on. And I did open the box already, y'all, because I wanted to make sure I received everything from the list. So I'm gonna move this bag out the way. And so we have here some Alpine Green, some Firefly. Now, I want to see, is this true to the color on camera like it is? And yes, it is. It actually is true to the color on camera. You know how some colors tend to look a little different on camera? I think because I don't have my light on, it's showing its true color. I think when I put the light on, it changes the color. And here we have right here, cashmere. Let's try to move these over. We have cashmere, we have cabaret, oh you guys can't see cabaret, <laughs> we have cabaret mica, we have synergy, I can't wait to use this one, we have luscious, oh lustrous brown, I can't wait to use that one. I needed more brown, and I chose that one for a tester to see how it works for me, if I like it. And we have Rapunzel. Rapunzel is more of a gold, like a light gold color. And then we have those for the, the micas in the bag. Oh, wait, we have some more. Oh, camouflage. You know what, guys? I opened this already, and just that fast, I forgot I had the camouflage. And I actually like this one. It's a beautiful camouflage green. And here we have Cyber Grape. And I can't wait to use all of these. <laughs> and I had got multiple purples this time. At least I hope I did. Because I wanted to do something different. I already have other micas, purples, but I wanted some more so I can, um, it's something I want to do with it. So I got them especially for that project. And here we have the Fantasia. This is a mica, five grams. I love the little bottles that they come in and you can keep these and, um, replenish them when you get a new order in and just order the bag sometimes they run out of the bags and just have the bottles left depending on the size you're ordering and here we have strawberry 
This is wild strawberry. Oh, this one is a glitter. Let me open this one up here. Let's see. This is the Fantasia. Can you guys see that? That is pretty. That's pretty. And it has like a little shimmer to it, which is very nice. Here is the wild strawberry. <clears throat> this is the eco-friendly glitter. And we're going to open this. Oh, yes. This is nice. This is nice. I can't wait to use that one. That is very nice. I'm so excited I have some more micas, y'all. This one, oh, this is another glitter. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't remember which glitters I got and which ones I didn't. And although I opened the package already. Now, this one right here, as I was talking, I cut myself off. This one is not true to the color on camera as all the other micas and stuff that I was just showing. This one actually looks, even though it's ocean blue, let me move it over here so I can see. It actually looks more like a darker version of this teal, a much darker version of this teal. But on camera, it looks like a actual blue, but it's not an actual blue in person. And we have here the Mardi Gras eco-friendly glitter and we're gonna open this one. Oh, this is pretty oh this is nice I can't wait to use this see. let me get the other ones out I ordered the neon set as well. I have about 14 bottles, y'all. So I'm just gonna get them all out. So I don't have to keep digging in the box. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, this one is the Firecracker Mica Powder. Look on the side, it has that, which I think is pretty cool that they have it right there that says, you know, just in case you're not sure which one you got, even though it says Great Mica here, it still doesn't mean it's Mica. So, this is a red, I'm assuming. Yes, it is. Let's see. Is it true to its color on camera like it is in person? Pretty much it is, yes. And this doesn't have a shimmer or shine to it. It has a little shine, but not that much. Like the other micas look like actual glitters, but they're not. So I wonder if these reds that they're producing, other than the really red mica, I wonder if they work the same as the really red micas. Because if they don't, then I guess... It will kind of defeat the purpose of calling it anything other than red. I mean, calling it red at all. If it's going to perform like all the old reds, right? So I'm assuming that they use the same technique with any other red that they've made. Like the really red mica. This is a... Sorry guys, I had that in the camera for so long. <laughs> I was actually reading something. This is the Rainforest mica powder <clears throat> sorry guys my sinuses and let's see if this is true to its color no it is not true to its color not on camera when I say that guys I mean on the camera it's the color it is the color that it's supposed to be in person but on camera it's showing a beautiful uh, bluish teal and the funny thing is is the actual color of the ocean blue is what this looks like on camera. Yes. Uh-oh, you want to wash your hands? Sorry, guys, that's my three-year-old, Robbie. And this forest here is an actual green. Not a um, teal color like it looks on camera. And here we have the gold dust. Is this a glitter? Yes, it is. I did need more glitter, so I wanted to try out their gold glitter. 
and it is actually beautiful and it's true to color it's a little bright because of the light but it's actually true to color on camera again y'all when i say true to color i mean you know the difference between on camera and off camera is it showing two different colors and this is the neon set so we're gonna do the neon set now which i'm so excited about because i am in need of some more neon colors so i wanted to give theirs a try so i will be making a soap with these a beautiful beautiful soap to try every last one out these are beautiful this is a neon yellow now it looks a little bit more neonish, neonish on um, camera than it does in person. In person, as I look at it, it's bright, but not as bright as it is on the camera. On the camera, it looks more neon, I think, to me it does. But in person, it's, it's not a pastel color, but it's, it's not as bright, but it's beautiful. And this one is the, I'm taking the tops off. <laughs> this one is a neon blue pigment powder. And this is true to its color on camera. This is pretty. I don't want to like shake it around to make it move for you because I don't want it, the dust to fly up. This is a red neon. Same story goes. This is a pigment powder. Hopefully this performs just the same as their really red mica, if not better. Very pretty. This one is the pink neon pigment powder. Sorry, y'all, I was getting a call. My sister, I'll call her back. And this is the pink neon pigment powder as well. Beautiful. I love this. And this one is the new purple neon. This is another pigment powder. Let's open this up. This is pretty. I'm sorry for how I'm holding it, y'all. Now, this color is a little a little like a, maybe a shade different on camera like on camera it's a shade lighter but it's still pretty and look at these two I got two left this one is the neon orange pigment powder again and oops I got some on my finger and you guys can see the grams is five grams. And look at this. This is pretty. Now it looks it looks extremely light on camera, but in person it's dark and bright in person. And this is pretty. And this is oh, this one's a little hard to open. Oh. <laughs> all right this one is a neon green pigment powder and this one is very nice i think my hands touched and got a little orange on there this is a beautiful green and it is actually just as true to color on camera as it is in person this is pretty this is really nice i love it and i think i touched it inside of the top too all right guys so there you have it my Nurture Soaps Mica. This is all that I have. A lot of tester colors. It's enough colors here for me to test quite a few batches of soaps. And that's it. This is all I have for today. And I can't wait to soap with them. All right. Oh, guys, hold on. My son is calling me. Oh, so my son was calling me about something. So I wanted to say really quick before I got off that Nurture Soaps is running a, a, ah, uh, goodness. I get so lost with my words sometimes. 
It's as if it's just not meant for me to talk about because I can't remember. Uh, but they are doing a collaboration. There we go. With their micas. And you have to make a soap and you have to create a um, any type of soap that you like. But it has to be with their micas. You have to use their mica colors. And you have to hashtag them on your Facebook so they can see it every Friday for the rest of this year of 2019. Every Friday they will be picking a contestant, a winner, and we'll be sending that person out. All 100 and I believe 13 or 15 of their micas, every last mica that they have in their possession, they'll be sending it out to that winner. And they'll be picking a winner every Friday. And I thought it was a really fun thing to do. So I said, I'll try it out. And since I'm ordering all these micas from them, hey, why not? Let me see if I win. And if you don't win that Friday, you can do one and submit one in every week if you want to <laughs> until the end of the year. And especially if you have to make soap, it's not going to hurt none. All right. So I just thought that was a fun little collaboration that they're doing. And you, you do some nice little fun swirl techniques with the soap so they can see it. And they pick a winner every Friday. So I just wanted to let you guys know that they email all of their customers letting us know this and whoever's on their mailing list. All right, guys, have a blessed day. Thank you again for watching. Like always, I'm so happy that you guys do watch my videos and that you do visit my channel because you do not have to. And thank you again and God bless always. Bye for now.